Hey, my Libra loves, welcome to Libra Life Tarot. Thank you guys so much for coming through, clicking on the video. If you're here for the first time, welcome. If you are returning, welcome back, all right? Let's go ahead and hop into your messages, see what comes out, what you need to know or be aware of at this time, okay? I'm gonna ring my bell, it might be kind of loud, so. All right, Libra. So I heard Kansas, Canada, and the Sunshine State. Okay. I think that's Florida, right? <laughs> um, so yeah, somebody could live in one of those areas, Kansas, Canada, or Florida. I'm also hearing something about Tokyo. Somebody may be traveling to Tokyo or to Canada. Holy Spirit, Guardian Angels, Ancestors, Spirit God, Spirit Team, please be with me through this reading for my Libra Collective, Soul Tribe, Soul Fam. Please guide and protect me as I can with messages for the Libra's highest good. No other form of this that shall prosper. Remove or block any evil or negative energy and rest their work that may be being sent my way. I shall you, man. Alright, guys. So let's see. I'm going to pull one card from this deck. See what messages come out for Libra. For Libra. Shuffle for Libra. Okay. There we go. All right. So we have Gretel. Okay. Ingenuity. Um, it's about making something, inventing something, creating something, okay? Somebody could be, you could be someone who's very good with your hands, okay? I'm hearing green-eyed bandit. You may have green eyes. Someone has green eyes. I'm, I'm hearing safe and ambitious okay um may could be significant the number five could be significant your life path number maybe five your birthday could be october the fifth something about five could be significant five days five minutes five hours, five weeks, okay? Something about five, five months, years, whatever, okay? So somebody could have a five-year-old. I'm hearing think back to the date of August 22nd, 2010. Hearing Mary. Somebody could have like a grandmother or a mother named Mary and they this they like to garden, they like to grow things, they're very good with their hands, okay? Um somebody's ancestors or something like that. It could I'm getting like um your your grandmother or your mother or somebody could have, or your aunt, one of your ancestors could have been a cupboard witch. Like dealing with herbs, kitchen witch, cup. They said cupboard witch. That sounds very ancestral, okay? So um, it could be dealing with herbs. You may find yourself being drawn to herbs and things, dealing with herbs, natural healing remedies, and things like that here, okay? You could be. You could have a brother. You could be someone's older sister. Okay. Somebody likes candy. 
Somebody likes to eat candy, peppermints, gum drops, wearing lemon drops, lemon heads, things like that. Somebody has like a sweet tooth for candy, but you're in the, you're an adult. I'm hearing Vincent. I'm hearing Vanguard. Okay. Let's see what else. There's something about your your smarts. You're very smart. You know how to navigate hard situations and deal with certain things like a very critical thinking type of energy. You know how to make something out of nothing very resourceful. All right. There's something about having to be smart. Like you have to be that way because it helps you get out of certain things or you have to be very smart in certain situations or something like that, okay? Yeah, wit. You got puss in boots, wit, smart, cunning. No, I'm not really cunning, but just being very witty. You know, you have wit. You you're smart. You know, you you can also be funny, like very funny, very hilarious. Okay. The number eight could be significant. I did just say something about August twenty second. So, um, you may I don't know look back in your your camera, your um memories of something or your messages or something august 22nd okay somebody has a cat somebody could have even named their cat like puss or puss in boots after the little you know after that cat i feel like you are someone who knows how to get what you want and green eyes are significant remember i was just saying something about green eyes this cat has very green eyes I got blue hazel eyes or brown. Um, but you know how to get what you want, okay? Um, or you have the capabilities to get what you want, get where you want to be. Um, yeah. Because people tend to think that they can outsmart you. And they can't, okay? Like, you're a lot smarter than people think, than you look, than, you know, than you even maybe act sometimes to come off. I feel like because you may be someone who's very funny and goofy and things like that, maybe you don't take a whole lot of things serious or maybe you, you know, you have a, a certain way about you of dealing with certain things and people may take that to mean that you're not very smart when in actuality you're very very freaking intelligent okay you can talk a homeless man out of their shoes this is <laughs> what i just heard okay i don't know i don't know if somebody says that i've never heard that before but that's what i heard okay i'm hearing celebration maybe celebrating something soon August 22nd is coming up, but they said think back to August 22nd. So this may get at least like a year ago, at least a year or so back. Well, I said 2000, what did I say, 2010? Yeah, 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 about, yeah, I don't know. But August 22nd is coming up, and so it may be significant to something that year that day coming back around because we're a couple of a month or so away from August. Mm. Yeah, there's something about a year ago. Something that hurts you or someone that hurts you. Something about keys are significant. And I realize this reading is different from what I would normally do, guys, but this is just what I was led to do. So somebody needs some messages here. 
yeah, I'm getting like gathering something. Like you're, you may be saving up something. You may be saving up money. You may be saving your time, your energy. It's like gathering something, gathering evidence, gathering knowledge, holding on to something. Somebody could be 33. Somebody could have an eight-year-old. I'm getting licking, licking their wounds. So somebody is licking their wounds because of something that you did or said. Somebody thought that they could outsmart you, that they knew better than you, or that they could take advantage of you, gaslight you, misuse you, mistreat you, or something like that. And I feel like either... I feel like either the universe got this person back or is getting this person back, getting some get right. Somebody may be hurt over somebody that they lost, like somebody that passed away. This could be you healing from that. Okay. All right, I just paused the timer on 111. I paused the timer at 1101. So, 111 is significant. That talks about new beginnings. All right. So, yeah. I'm hearing Daisy or Daisies. Oh, you got secrets. May 16th, August 16th could be significant. January the 6th. My birthday could be October 8th, October 16th. So, I got a 16 year old. I'm hearing Germany now, France, somebody maybe traveling overseas or something, or learning like a new language. I'm getting greed. Something about being greedy. Somebody wants something all to themselves. Yeah, I'm getting this card. This this secrets card talks about Rumpelstiltskin, and you know how he tried to outsmart the um, the people, whoever he was dealing with. He tried to outsmart everybody by um, making a deal with them, and then he would make them try to guess his name, and nobody could guess his name. And then when the when the girl, I can't remember if it was like Snow White or. Be uh, Sleeping Beauty or whoever. I think it was Sleeping Beauty because that's who was spinning the straw in the gold. I don't know her. Aurora. I think her name was Aurora. But anyways, um, <laughs> something about your aura as well. But when she finally did, you know, figure out his name, she outsmarted him because he thought he was going to get that baby. And I don't know. He was, you know, I'm just thinking about how mad he was. Like, how, who told you? How did you find this out? Because it was supposed to be a secret. Nobody was ever supposed to know his name. And that's how he would always gain everything that he wanted. He'd make these deals and he knew these people would never be able to guess his name. And, you know, so he's like, how did you find out who told you? Who told you? So I'm feeling like that type of energy. There's something going on to where... Somebody wants to know how you found out something. How do you know this? How do you know how to do this? Or how do you have this information? Remember I said you had some knowledge or information or um, something like that that you were holding on to. And somebody wants to know how you know this, how you found out or how you know their plan or, you know, something like that. Because somebody thinks that they're smarter than you. Okay. But I'm hearing you got to be quicker than that. All right. I think I actually have a reading titled exactly that. You got to be quicker than that. Um, I'm going to try to remember to go back and look for it and I'll share it if you're resonating with these messages because there could be messages there for you too. Um, so yeah. I'm hearing Sam, Alice, Danita, Violet or Viola. I see 1414 on the timer. I'm going to pull one more card. This is the last one. Ambition. Hmm. So this is about your, your goals. November 16th, November 5th, November 8th could be significant. I'm seeing, I'm getting like... 
Leo season, uh, Sagittarius season or Scorpio season, like the next over the next few months. This is something to do with your drive, your ambition, your goals, your tenacity, your strength, your ability to keep moving forward. Okay. Yeah, I'm seeing these skulls here and it's reminding me of the death card. So Scorpio energy could be significant. You may have Scorpio placements in your chart, strong Scorpio placements in your chart. Okay. I'm getting very ambitious, very goal-oriented, very driven. It's like somebody's trying to knock you off your your game or something or, or throw you off track or something. But you are smarter than this person thinks that you are. Somebody doesn't think that you will catch on to their their games, their manipulation their gaslighting, their little smart mouth, <laughs> their shady comments or their whatever whatever they're hiding, their lies or something, but you do. You just don't say anything. I'm also getting somebody green with envy, somebody jealous, upset, green with envy over something that you do, will do, that you have or will have, okay? But you're not letting anybody block or stop or put a pause in or anything like that, your transition, something, I mean, your ambition. Oh, I said transition. Scorpio energy is very significant. Things are changing for you, though. And you're not letting anybody get in the way from this. Things are changing for you, transitioning for you. Something about a microphone is significant. Somebody could be like a, a artist or a rapper or singer or, or like a public speaker or something like that. There are something about your voice, something... Um, that you say or said something about a microphone okay i'm hearing that can you hear me now like somebody is gonna hear you feel you see you all of that hmm like somebody gonna have to put some respect on your name <laughs> okay i want to read this ambition card let me look at the bottom they want me to look at the bottom of the taboos Bluebeard. Yeah, it's like somebody trying to like booby trap you or or yeah, and it's gonna be revealed. The see <laughs> mm, it's gonna be something's gonna come out with the secrets. I'm telling you, you're gonna find wow. I was just I said something about a brother, didn't I? Somebody could be a big sister or have a brother, and look, there's Hansel. There's this girl, and then there's Hansel on the split, a brother. And if you put them next to each other, they're kind of looking at each other. If you put them next to each other. Now, she's kind of side-eyeing him. They're side-eyeing each other. So, I don't know. Could have something to do with a brother or like a, a child. Look at that. Jealousy. And he can't see it. It's on the bottom. Jealousy. This is Snow White and the, and the Witch. And remember I was saying green with envy, jealousy, yeah, all of that. Okay. So let me read this card right here. I'm going to read the ambition card. Wow. So the, the first thing that I saw when I opened the book, the first page that it went to was brother and sister. And that card says transformation. Remember, I was just saying something about change, transitioning. That card did not come out, but now I want to see where it is. Hold on. I just want to see where it is in the deck. What's what's around it? The brother-sister card. Because there's something significant. You could even be doing something with your brother or your sister, with your sibling, you know, like teaming up with them or something. You guys could be getting money together, having a business or something like that. Where's that brother sister card at? I'm playing toward the back. Let me see. There's Sleeping Beauty. Awakening. Mm hmm. <laughs> mother, sister, mother, sister, mother. Hold on, guys. I'm sorry. Okay, there it is. 
transformation, entitlement, and balance. Things are coming into balance for you. Things are trying because you've been dedicating yourself to the truth, to your truth, speaking your truth. Okay. Mm -hmm. I don't know what this has to do with brother and sister, but you know. I want to see what it says about this because that because this confirmation of what I was saying. <laughs> Hold on, guys, because these little stories be long, so y'all bear with me because I'm trying. I don't want to. I would like to read the whole thing to you guys, but you know. It says the meaning of the brother sister card talks about wisdom and instinct must be brought into harmony. Living a quiet life in the wild, warnings unheeded, living with consequences, um, love and care for those younger than you. See, yeah, I feel like somebody's an older sister and there's something about your younger sibling or your younger brother. Teach others how to balance their instinct and intelligence. And I just said that balance card was right behind the brother-sister card. Okay? Find comfort in simple pleasures. Live a good life. Enjoy the rewards that will come your way. Do not fear envy. It is temporary. So don't worry about these people that are jealous of you and envious of you because it's temporary. They're going to be dealt with accordingly, like I said at the beginning of the reading. Okay? Transformation. Harmony of our instinct and our mind and the love of a sister. Um, I'm, I'm scanning this story and it's saying something about the brother was warning his sister not to drink from some stream. They lived in this enchanted land or they came across this enchanted land and the brother was telling her don't drink from it or he will be turned into a wild bear and tear her apart. So whatever she does, it would affect him, right? And... Again, that you know, they came across another stream. He told her again, don't drink it or he'll be turned into a wolf. And then when they reached the third stream, he couldn't control his thirst. So he drank from the stream and he turned into a, a, a what a roebuck is like a deer, right? I think he turned into a deer and his sister promised to take care of him and, you know, everything like that. And... Um, they go off and they take care, you know, they take care of each other. She, well, she takes care of him because he's an animal. She cares for him. She gets food for him and everything, right? Um, and then one day this king comes into the forest, finds their house where they are, all right? He wanted to um, be with Hansel. He wanted to make her his queen and stuff. <clears throat> hold on, hold on, because I'm reading as I'm trying to explain it to you guys. I'm trying to... Um, he wanted to make her his queen. I don't know. There's something about balance. Um, I skipped something, but. Oh, the king broke the enchantment on the brother. Okay. Anyway, I'm sorry, y'all. I was just trying to... I hope y'all got something out of that because I felt like it was important <laughs> to the story, okay? Or to the reading. So, anyway. Let's read Ambition. Well, let's see what it says. Okay, so this story is super long, so I'm not even going to try to read it. But it looks like the gist of it is talking about choices, okay? Um, it says... This story is about in, the impossibility of avoiding fate. For there's a prophecy that the princess will marry the, sh the soldier... Uh, it says, you must choose what you will and will not do to have power and money that you may be given an offer that can lead to danger and rewards. Yeah, because I feel like somebody taking an offer. Remember, I was talking about a deal about Rumpelstiltskin, like you making a deal, making a deal with the devil or something like that. 
because somebody wants something that you have or that you're going to get so that you're working toward or that you will have. And we're talking about envy and jealousy, okay? They want to know how you did something. How do you have this knowledge? How do you how did you gain this wealth, this knowledge, this prosperity, this abundance and things like that, okay? Um And it's about doing the right thing. You know what I'm saying? Because you, however you come acquire your abundance, it has to do with your ambition, with your drive and all of that, like I was talking about before. And you're getting it. It may take you longer, but you're doing it the right way. And somebody just wants it now. They want it quick and they're willing to do whatever it takes to get what they want. And this is somebody that will go above and beyond and do whatever it takes. They don't care who they have to hurt. 25-25, I just saw on the timer. They they want it and they want it now. And they'll do whatever it takes to get now, get it now, okay? So that's the type of energy that, you know, Spirit wants you to be aware of that may be or will be around you, Okay? Somebody will accept a dangerous offer just because they want the rewards. Like somebody will go out and sell drugs just because they want the quick money, but not thinking about the consequences of their actions in, in the moment, right? Um, it says that at times you must cut people out of your life in order to keep secrets safe. It's talking about secrets. And that getting what you ultimately want does not mean that you are unwatched. So, like I said, spirit is seeing this and taking care of it and on your behalf. You may choose to be ruthless and yet you may seem unpunished, but you will be observed and you will never rest easy. Or you can choose to live with different values and live a different life. But if you become like the soldier, you must do, you must be prepared to do harsh things for a seemingly great reward. All right. It says a ruthless quest. Choose wisely. How will you repay a good in return? How will you use the gifts you have been given? Which harsh choice will benefit you most? What choice can you live with? Can your choices stand up to scrutiny? Have you sacrificed your ethics and desensitization? I think I said that right. Reconnecting with your empathy. Oh, child. All right, Libra. I'm going to leave this reading here. I hope this helps someone out. I hope it reaches who it needs to reach. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, share it if you think some, it'll help someone else out. And if you want to book a personal reading, information is in, in the description box below. I will see you guys in the next reading. All right. Bye.